Today, let's talk about human megalomavirus. If you pay attention to the news, there are many cases of this infection in mainland China and Taiwan. People are worried that it, is it going to be another pandemic in the making? Is that something we should be worried about? Let's dive right into it. You might have heard about some scary stories, some people telling you this virus is a new mutation that is going to cause a serious pandemic much worse than COVID. Actually, it is a newly discovered virus, not a new mutation. It was just discovered like in 2001. There are only two members in this group of viruses. Prior to 2001, there's only one member in this group, which is called avian metanumovirus. Avian is the Latin word for birds. This virus infects Turkey. It caused infection of the respiratory system in Turkey. Now in the Netherlands, in 2001, a group of scientists has discovered that a new virus is causing a lot of flu-like symptoms in humans. This is a new virus. It turns out it's structurally related to avian metanumovirus, so they call it human megalimovirus. The fact is, you and I may have been infected by this virus before, and I'll tell you why later in this video. Now let's talk about some of the symptoms of this infection. But basically, it's just a flu. In the majority of people, it's just called like runny nose, maybe a bit of sore throat, cough, fever, muscle pain. Some people may have vomiting as well. In people with a weak body defense system, with a weak immunity, they might cause chest infection or pneumonia or in children, it's causing a kind of respiratory infection, or what we call bronchiolitis, but I'm going to explain. So at this point, what you should know is that for most of us, it is not something to worry about. It is not a new mutation, it is not causing serious illness right now. But what we have to pay attention is the at-risk groups like the elderly and the infants. In, in infants like 6 months to 12 months old, if they are infected, it can cause a serious problem. Or the typical picture would be bronchiolitis. You might have heard about bronchitis, you might have heard about chest infection, pneumonia. But what is bronchiolitis? Well, it's, it's very simple. It's just the small bronchi. If you know a bit of anatomy about the lung, the bronchial tree is like you have the trachea and you have two bronchus and then it's branch out into smaller bronchioles. And these bronchioles are the site of infection when an infant is infected by this virus. It's very narrow. If it is infected, then it will become swollen. And at the same time, it will produce a lot of secretion. If you have swelling and a lot of secretion, it can easily be blocked. So the typical symptom if an infant is infected in shortness of breath or noisy breathing. I have a link to a video will show you the typical symptoms for a child with bronchiolitis. Typical symptoms would be like uh, rapid breathing and uh, you can see that the uh, space between the ribs will be sucked in. This hollow area above the chest bone will be sucked in when the child breathes. Those are signs indicating shortness of breath. You have to pay attention. Well, as far as treatment is concerned, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have specific treatment. Since the majority of patients have male mouth symptoms, a bit of rest, maybe a few tablets of paracetamol should be enough. We have no vaccine for this virus at the moment. In order to prevent this kind of infection, normal precautions like you have to wash your hands, you have to wear a mask when you go to crowded area. Just do the same thing at the time of COVID. Now, lastly, a little bit knowledge about this virus. It is not a new mutation, as I told you. It's a newly discovered virus. Investigators have found out that the blood sample like 15 years ago, before I mean prior to 2001, 50 years earlier, when they test the blood sample, they have found evidence of this kind of viral infection. That means this virus has been present quite a while. They also found that among those samples, if they are aged under 5, or has been infected by this virus. So we might deduct that all of us, you and I, have been infected before when we were a child. But the bad thing is that the immunity won't last long. Even though you have been infected multiple times, your immune memory for this virus will win with time. So at this time of an outbreak, you and I are still at risk. So take precaution. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.